This is the Nothing Ear 2. It's the second generation earphone with active noise cancellation from Nothing, and they've been launched at a price of 129 pounds, 149 US dollars, or in India competitively, just like last year at 9,999. Now they're going on sale on the 28th of March. So if you guys are interested, I'll have links in the description below. But are they any good? Are they an improvement? We have some things that have changed in the earphones. Uh, so we'll quickly run through those. Looking at the packaging, you'll find that the box is much smaller than last year. And the process of opening the box is also completely different. Once you open up the box, inside you'll find some documentation and you'll find the Nothing Ear 2s in their new case, which is comparatively smaller. You also get your charging cable and uh, the additional small and large ear tips. The medium ones are already on the earphones. The case itself is now IP55 rated, which means uh, that uh, the case has some water resistance built in. So out in the rain, uh, this case will be fine. There are also some design changes to the case. The biggest gripe I had with the Nothing Ear 1s was the case got scratched easily at the bottom because of the acrylic. Uh, they've completely removed the acrylic from the bottom and uh, you do have this polycarbonate part sticking out at the bottom which will make you see less scratches. It's still gonna get scratched up quite a lot. And one downside of that is also the print might get removed because now it's exposed. Whereas on uh, the Nothing Year Ones, the print was on the inside of the acrylic. That being said, uh, the case itself is much smaller. It still continues to have that fidget spinner vibe uh, with the dimple over there. And uh, overall, you see the same hinge, the same clasp, uh, the same magnetic features, the same charging port and pairing button. So case is more or less the same. The earphones themselves uh, do have a new marking on them. They do say nothing ear to, uh, but the design and the overall look and feel of uh, the earphones is pretty identical to the first generation. They're also still IP54 rated. So they are sweat and basic water resistant and dust resistant as well. The ear tips are nice and soft, mostly the same quality from last year. So nothing has changed, nothing has changed from there as well. The earphones do get a 11.6 mm driver, which is a much larger driver than last year's. It fits in the same shell. So you do get a much uh, wider driver in uh, the same footprint, which is a nice thing to have. The Nothing Ear ones run on the LHDC 5.0 codec and can transmit a 24 bit up to one megabit per second. Uh, and they also do support a low latency mode, which if you have the Nothing phone is activated automatically when you're in the gaming mode. Uh, but if you're on an iPhone and if you're on another Android device, you can enable it from the Nothing X app as well. Now the app works really well with these earphones. In fact, the pairing process is very simple and it works really well on the iPhone as well. In fact, you can update the software, firmware of the earphones from the iOS app as well. And all of those things work flawlessly without any problems. Now the active noise cancellation on these earphones is rated for 40 decibels and it does do a good job of active noise canceling. You still continue to have the pinch uh, sort of buttons or pinch controls. So single pinch, double pinch, triple pinch, and then you have pinch and hold, and you can customize all of these uh, from the app. So if you wanna change any of those, except for the single pinch, uh, you can do that from uh, the app. The earphones still support a fast charge that'll give you about eight hours of usage in just 10 minutes of uh, fast charging. And uh, then overall battery life is about 36 hours uh, with you obviously popping them back into the case. And this is with active noise cancellation off. Uh, that is what uh, the company is claiming. And uh, you also do have wireless charging and uh, they also do support reverse wireless charging from your smartphone at 2.5 watts. So if any of your phones do support that, you can easily pop this on there and it does work with the Nothing phone as well. The earphones also support Google's fast pair and uh, they also work with uh, Windows in their fast pairing method. And on an iPhone, uh, they also connect quickly and uh, they do have uh, battery indications on the iPhone as well. So you can see the battery life of the earphones on the iPhone, except you can't see the battery life of the case. For that, you have to open the Nothing X app, uh, which does give you that information. Few other additions to this are uh, in the app itself. So you do have dual pairing and you can enable this from the app. So it will automatically allow you to now connect to two devices. Another feature is the sound profiles and uh, custom sound profiles. And they do have a built-in hearing test, which I'll talk about in just a second. And then they also have a clear voice mode. So if you are in voice calls or video calls and you want to hear the voice of the person clearly, you can enable that again from the app and it'll just improve uh, the voice capability quite a lot. 
Now, as far as sound quality is concerned, I have to say that it is more focused on the bass and the treble, and you do have equalization profiles, and you do have a custom EQ as well, but the mid-range is not very responsive. Even if you push the mid-range all the way to the top, you see very little difference in the actual sound profile. You do have ample amounts of bass, and it is much more refined than uh, the ear ones, and you do have a lot of clarity or higher range uh, in the earphones. Uh, that also comes out really nicely. And if you do play around with the profiles, you can sort of get a good sounding mix. And personally, I find the balanced profile to give you a good overall audio output, or you can customize the profile uh, in your own way. One thing that did help is uh, the personalized sound profile that I was talking about earlier. You have to run through this five minute hearing test like you would at a ear doctor's office and it also gives you a result of your hearing capability, and then it automatically tries to adjust for that. That does improve the sound a little bit, but there is a major miss in the mid-range of uh, the earphones, and that, I think, is because a lot of people don't really focus on that audio listening aspect. They more care about the clarity and the bass, especially if you're somebody who's playing games. Uh, those things are what is more popular. I feel that that one thing is common between the ear one and the ear two, that uh, the mid-range really suffers. Uh, and if you're somebody who likes a fuller sound, a more wider sound stage, the ear two also sort of fails to deliver on that. The clarity and uh, the overall volume of the earphones is good. The fit, the finish of the earphones is great. And uh, you do have additional ear tips to get a really nice fit. Now, as far as noise cancelling is concerned, nothing claims a 40 decibel decrease in ambient sounds. I'm not sure if it's at that level we'll be testing that out, but it does a pretty good job of noise cancellation. Overall, the smaller package, uh, the improved water resistance and also improved connectivity, uh, among other things, including the personalized noise cancellation and the personalized sound profiles, do make it a pretty impressive upgrade, but the lack of mid-range, even in the second generation of the earphones, uh, seems to be a little bit of a letdown. Now, if you guys want us to test this long term and come back with an in-depth review, we can do that for you guys as well. So let us know in the comment section below. And like I said, if you're interested, we'll have links uh, to the Ear 2s in uh, the description below as well. And if you enjoyed the video, smash the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Not for nothing.